Today's video is all about the books my fifth graders love to read. Let's jump right in. Every Soul a Star. If you haven't heard of this book, it's a fantastic story. It's about three kids at a campground. The story's told from their three perspectives, and it's about how they kind of, the camp kind of brings them together and unlikely friendships that develop, that kind of thing. It is a good read. Spy School is another series that's always popular in fifth grade. I have one little boy that's read the entire series in, what, we've been in school three weeks. I mean, he just gobbles them. It's so fantastic. And uh, Stuart Gibbs is always on the humorous side as well, but a good, clever story. I Survived 9-11, of course, appropriate for this week. Ah. Oh. I know many of you have read this, and if you haven't read it as an adult, you need to read this. Out of My Mind, told from the perspective of a child who has cerebral palsy, and she's very intelligent, but she can't express her intelligence through words, and it's sort of her interpretation of what the world is like when people assume that you know very little, but you actually know a lot. and. Um, just a very touching story, very touching. Of course, you can't go wrong with The War That Saved My Life. I mean, this book made its rounds around all the kids last year and this year it's gonna do the same thing. Everybody who reads this book loves it. And most of the kids who read this book later confess that they cried. It's, it's that powerful. I hope your kids will love it too. I have one student reading Abe Lincoln at Last from the Magic Treehouse series. Okay, this book. If you have girls in your class that are into reading about sort of the relationships that happen in like friend relationships, relationships with parents and how those relationships can be different and evolve and change, this might be a good book for you. Um, I'll just read a tiny bit. It says, will Amanda's 11th birthday ever end? On their first birthday, they learned to walk. On their fifth birthday, they planted seeds in handmade pots. On their 10th birthday, they learned that there are some words you can never take back. Does that sound like fifth grade room? Sometimes it does. Good book there. All right, then we have some goodies, oldies but goodies that are being passed around like Restart. Kids are falling in love with that again this year. <laughs> Hunger Games. Sometimes kids are like, I've never seen the movie and they wanna read the book, but most of the time the kids have seen the movie and they wanna know if the book is even better. And I'm glad to say they think the book is better. You can never go wrong with Hatchet or of course, Ramey Nightingale. Everybody who reads this book loves this book. And Ungifted, another funny book by Gordon Corman. This one kind of took a while to pick up speed being passed around the students, but it is definitely making its mark in fifth grade. And I had one um, reluctant reader, young man, who needed something kind of thin so it wouldn't be intimidating, but he wanted a lot of action. So uh, Mary Downing Hahn, uh, The Dead Man in Indian Creek. Of course, the title is will grab you, and he read and finished and enjoyed this book, I am proud to say. More classics, anything having to do with Mr. Turup. I always have a boy who's into Tim Green sports books, so of course, Football Hero is being passed around. My last book for today that I wanna to talk about is one that I haven't read yet. I just found this one recently, and it's called Alcatraz and the Evil Librarians. Yeah, the title kinda got me. So it's about this kid named Alcatraz, has a terrible talent for breaking things. He's hardly a hero but he receives a bag of sand on his 13th birthday and his life takes a bizarre turn. This is no ordinary bag of sand and it is quickly stolen by the cult of evil librarians who are taking over the world by spreading misinformation and suppressing truth. Alcatraz must stop them. I'm sorry, but as an adult, that sounds hilarious. And 
I'm sure the kids will uh, enjoy it as well. I will have to keep you posted because I haven't had a soul read it yet. I just got it. The last book, I promise, this is the last book. The last book I'll tell you about, the boys are passing this one around, um, live in infamy. What if the Axis powers had won World War II? They're fascinated with this topic and the plot is, is quickly moving and they're turning pages quickly and they, they love this book and they recommend it to each other and it is definitely going to be in many hands this year. All right, that's it for today. I will do another video in maybe a month or so to let you know what new books we might be reading. And I hope the recommendations help you with your classroom library choices. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. All right, bye everybody.